I think the, the real question is how, how hard should we push uh, um, herpes testing in our general STD population? I mean, you say, you, you talk a bit about you know, the prevalence and, and how, you know, herpes is, is, is very prevalent. I mean, you know, we know close to 20% of the population, sexually active population, and in certain subpopulations, like among African Americans, it's even much higher than that. So the question is, knowing that a lot of people actually have been infected with herpes and genital herpes, should we really identify uh, those patients and what kind of benefit would that have not only for them individually but from a public health perspective you know what what kind of public health benefits do we buy by offering serologic screening to even high-risk populations so following up on that theme case um, we know that having HSV2 on average roughly doubles someone's risk of sexual acquisition of HIV if exposed, and I think you and I would agree that the single highest priority in the STD prevention world is preventing HIV and its, uh, and its consequences. So knowing that people with HSV2 have a doubled risk of acquiring HIV, uh, does that influence your sense as to whether people should know their HSV2 status? Can that translate into some of those persons, protect, particularly perhaps in especially high-risk groups like men who have sex with men, right. in, in helping them take that extra step to prevent HIV? Um, I think that's a very legitimate question. I think among the, the benefits that you could think about in public health, from a public health perspective, uh, HIV transmission or the cofactor in HIV trans transmission is one. The other two are, you know, herpes in and of itself has significant morbidity, uh, even though most people are asymptomatic. And thirdly, and something else we need to talk about, is the chance of passing on herpes to your baby and having uh, congenital uh, uh, herpes or uh, uh, that, can be, that can be fatal to the baby. So there's, th in my view, there's three potential public health benefits. Getting back to your question about the cofactor in HIV transmission, I think there's two things. First of all, uh, most of our heterosexual patients in our clinic, at least in Colorado, are relatively low risk for HIV. And even if herpes were to double their risk, it's still a very low risk. Among men who have sex with men, it's a different story. I think more importantly, and I think that's also true for the other sort of uh, benefits, is if you find out that this person has, has herpes, what are you going to do? And is treatment, for example, going to reduce the rate of, of HIV transmission? And we know from a number of large trials that have been done that the answer is no, uh, at least so far. We, uh, if a person has herpes and has HIV, that person is maybe more likely to transmit HIV. But if you put that person on, on suppressive therapy for herpes, we don't see any benefit. It's probably much more important that that person is on suppressive therapy for their HIV, yeah, which actually has a benefit for herpes as well, as you probably yeah, know. Yeah, so does, it, yeah. it, it, makes, it makes the whole thing very, very interesting. Conversely, a person that is HIV negative and has herpes is also probably at higher risk for acquiring HIV just simply because of their herpes. But likewise, if you put those people on suppressive therapy for herpes, you don't see a benefit. Yeah, no, I, I agree. In fact, five or eight years ago, uh, I tended to lean on the notion of people knowing their HSV2 status for the purpose of HIV prevention on the assumption that treatment of HSV would have that benefit of reducing HIV transmission and we were all disappointed when those uh, research studies did not support that, uh, that. So I believe, I agree it's a lesser priority at this time, but still I'm inclined to think that among those at particularly high risk uh, that it's probably on balance better knowing than not in terms of the potential awareness and uh, psychological perspective people take toward their sexuality.